Hi there, today to make the most of our math block, we're gonna look at using Rec and Recs in the classroom. I have a whole group activity that will use more like a number talk with your students and a small group activity and a center idea that you can use for your students to compose and decompose numbers in a variety of ways while using the Rec and Rec. I'll also link below in the description an article that I found helpful when I was introducing Rec and Recs to my students. So let me get our whole group activity set up and we can get started. For our whole group activity, we have our jumbo rec and rec. This is magnetic, so it's sticking right to the board. And I have our rec and rec quick image cards. We've played quick image before, so they know how to play, but you might want to refresh them. Remember, when we play quick images, I show you it quickly, and then you have to remember in your head how many you see. When you know, just like number talks, put your thumb up. And if this is the first few times you're playing, you might want to cover up the extra beads and just so they're counting the, the beads that are on the other side. So I'm gonna quickly show you, put your thumb up when you know how many. Show them, they'll put their thumb up and you can call them. How many did you see? I saw three. Okay, come on up, model it for us. So we're getting them to manipulate and use the wreck and wreck so they can get comfortable with it. Did anybody else see that? And they can give them me two or they can leave their thumb up if they saw it in a different way. Show the card again. Does it match? Yep, we have three and three. All right, let's get ready. We can reset the wreck and wreck. I'm gonna cover up the other side. I'm gonna show you quickly. When you know how many, put your thumb up. I'll put their thumb up. How many did you see? I saw 12. How do you know you saw 12? Just to get them to think about that they're seeing those 10 up top, so five, five, that's 10. And I saw two more at the bottom. Let's count that. Let's make sure we can anchor off 10. 10, 11, 12. Does it match? And they can see that, yeah, there's 10 up top, two more at the bottom. It matches. And go around, have them identify how many. You can have them come up, build it on your um, jumbo rec and rec. Show the next card. Put their thumb up when they see how many. How many did you see? Two. How do you know? I saw one up top, one on the bottom. Does it match? And you want to continue. And you can have them with their own individual rec and recs in front of them or the first few times just to get them comfortable and really talking about what they're seeing. Just have it as that number talk discussion. So this is our whole group activity. Let's move on to our small group activity. For our math small group activity, we are going to be doing teen numbers count and cover. You'll need some sort of counter to cover. I have the phone counters. We have the mini rec and rec and the rec and rec arrangement cards to help them identify it. Now you can have each student have their own mat in front of them with their own card. They can play with partners. For this activity, I'm gonna model it as I'm showing them the card and they have their materials in front of them so that they're playing along. So the first card that I'll show, how many do you see? And you can go around and have them talk about it or they can turn and talk with a partner about how many they see, but then you wanna come back and discuss it. I saw 13 because I saw five, 10, or I knew that there were 10 at the top, 10, 11, 12, 13. Once you've identified how many, then they're going to build it on their rec and rec. I 10, 11, 12, 13. Then they wanna cover the matching numeral on their board. Flip over the next card. How many do you see? Then you can have them turn and talk or just talk as a group. I see 12 because 10, 11, 12. Or maybe they might even hold on to the card they saw previously. It's one less than 13, so it's 12. Have them build it on their rec and rec. They can reset it or just slide it over. So 10, 11, 12 and they wanna cover it on their mat. Now, if you don't have enough rec and recs for everyone to have their own, you can have them with their partner. The first partner, partner A, can build it, partner B can cover it, and then they can switch jobs each time. This would be perfect to put out as a center once you've taught it during your small group time. An example of a math center you can use for rec and rec is math around the room. Students will find the letter, so we'll start with letter A, 
and they want to count how many. 10, or they can practice counting each of them if they need to. So 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. On their recording sheet, they want to find A and write down the matching number. So we would write 17. They want to go find the next card, count how many, and write it on the recording sheet. This activity is perfect to reuse with hands-on counters so you can use your Rec and Recs to flip the card and then they can build it and write how many as well. So you can use it as math around the room or you can use it as a hands-on counting activity. When you come back together on the carpet after your small group and center time, make sure you ask the students, what do you notice about a Rec and Rec? Or what do you wonder about a Rec and Rec? And you can build an anchor chart with their understanding and help identify any of those misconceptions they might have about using a Rec and Rec. I hope those activities were helpful to you and you can take them and use the Rec and Rec in your classroom. I will link below in the description any of the links to the materials and activities that I used in the video today. And I'll also link that article about how to introduce Rec and Recs to your students if that's something you wanted to check out. If this video was helpful to you, make sure you like it and stay tuned for more videos to make the most of our math block.